I can't believe we've been canceled. Well, apparently Fox has a new president who wants to go in a different direction. Can you believe that, idiot? Where is he? Where's that son of a bitch? I didn't believe it when they said they'd have cheese and crackers for everyone, but they did it. Hey, people, it's Brett here giving you my review for Family Guy, The Quest for Stuff. What kind of idiot would cancel a hit TV show? Good evening. Dad, you forgot the other eye. There you go. Now you're visibly upset. You bastard. You won't get away with this. You hear me? Do you hear me? <laughs> Loud and clear. First up, let me just say that of course people are going to compare Family Guy The Quest for Stuff to The Simpsons Tapped Out. They are both based on popular television shows. They are both city building simulators. They both even have pretty much the exact same free to play model. One major difference when it comes to comparing this Family Guy game to The Simpsons Tapped Out is the humor. Whereas The Simpsons Tapped Out is aimed to more of a general audience, Family Guy's The Quest for Stuff, much like the cartoon series, is specifically aimed at an older audience. So to all the parents out there who let their children play The Simpsons Tapped Out, I'd probably be thinking twice about letting them play this Family Guy game. The humour, much like the television show, can be crude and offensive at times, not to mention the game's animations which complement the humour of Family Guy down to a T. What it boils down to is whether or not you enjoy Family Guy's humour. And while I do have a feeling that this is as good as we're going to get when it comes to a game based on Family Guy, as far as it goes, it's actually not too bad. At the beginning of the game, you're treated to an epic battle between Peter and the giant chicken, leaving Kohog in ruins. And you, of course, are tasked with rebuilding Kohog in your own image. You, of course, are given the standard tools of the trade, from buildings to roads to trees, stop signs, to the oftentimes funny inhabitants of Kohog. Family that. Guy and Quest for Stuff's That's gameplay right. has a little bit that of depth to it. And while it may be nothing more than just to try and get you to actually spend real world cash, playing the Patience game actually felt a little less tedious due to the fact that you could actually zoom right out of the map. That made navigating the small town of Kohog a little bit easier when it came to tapping on buildings and characters. Speaking of the buildings and characters, they all look like they've been lifted directly from the cartoon series. But that's what you'd expect from a game with such close ties to its source material. As far as character dialogue goes, of course all the sound bites are taken from the television show. And for me, when it comes to a game like this, I'm perfectly fine with that. What I was more interested to find out was the way they handled the dialogue boxes. Those boxes of text to convey character dialogue in some games have come across as so wordy that I've just ended up tapping straight through them without even reading a single line. I've been pleased to find that so far in Family Guy The Quest for Stuff, at no point I've felt the urge to actually just skip all the text. It never feels too intrusive and never overstays its welcome. The tasks undertaken by the characters of Kohog can be quite visually entertaining with the more adult orientated ones taking place behind closed doors. The main purpose of the tasks of course is to give you XP and coin, which can be used to purchase the majority of the products in the store. The other form of currency in Family Guy The Quest for Stuff is clams, which is used to purchase some of your premium characters and buildings. Unfortunately, unless you're really, really patient and could settle for getting one clam every couple of days, you're pretty much not going to get enough clams to actually get any of those premium characters anytime soon. And just like other games in this genre, purchasing of this currency can be quite expensive. Personally, I treat games like this with sort of like a backwards subscription fee. At the end of each month, I sort of judge the game on how much fun I've had, and I purchase accordingly. I don't mind giving a little for something that's given me a little bit of fun over the past month. As long as I can afford it, of course. Even without purchasing clams, I can still see a bit of fun to be had with this game, though. It just may take a little bit longer than what you'd like. One thing I really do like with Family Guy The Quest for Stuff is the special events. Whether it be mummies coming out of pyramids, or a whole bunch of nerds coming out of a comic book convention. It's a really nice touch from the game, which also gives you the chance to get some special characters from the occasion. Another really nice touch to the game is the social aspect, which in Kohog's case is a nice little social networking site called Facespace. Scrolling through the characters' posts can at times bring a smile to your face, or even a chuckle. From unlocking your favourite characters and creating outfits for them to wear, that take you back to some of their classic episodes, to rebuilding the Griffin hometown of Kohog, this quote unquote free to play game for Family Guy ended up surprising me in the end. I must admit that at first I felt like this game was going to be nothing more than a Simpsons tapped out clone. 
yet the differences in this game is enough to make it worthy of some time spent tapping on the screen. I've ended up enjoying Family Guy's The Quest for Stuff more than what I thought I would, to the point where it's pretty much become the only thing I play on my tablet. And if you're a fan of Family Guy, there's no doubt that you'll enjoy this as well. It's going to be very interesting to see if they do anything for the Family Guy Simpsons crossover happening later this year. I'm already imagining the Simpsons family walking around my cohog. For giving me a bruise on the tip of my finger, I'm giving the Simpsons ta um, Family Guy The Quest for Stuff a 6.7 out of 10. They're shiny.